はいカッツインこれはい。But yeah,、uh, that plot point is never resolved. Yata has plans for that key, but they're never made clear, ever. Also, uh, yeah. yeah. It's just an article about Haseo and his trials and tribulations to the Demon and Holy Palace tournaments. You can pause if you want to read some of that. Also, the world movie.、Uh, I don't know if that would be a dream come true or a disaster waiting to happen. But,、uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then Haseo's endeavors made the news. Hooray. Oh, look, background music that we can't listen to. Wait, what? Ugh, really? Piss off, Pyrrhus. Alright, so the whole reason we came back here is to. Yeah. Thanks, Antares. Wasting my time. Alright, so as you、uh, previously found out, our guild rank went up, so we can now sell 10. Items in the guild shop as opposed to seven. Ooh, even faster money. And then, yeah, so Yada tells us that we need to do what we did at the beginning of the volume and get data seeds. Man, this guy is so uptight. Basically, he wants me to go and investigate the Ida corroded area. Oh, good for him. I guess we better go do that. Except,、uh, we're actually going to go and do something first. So, we're not going to get to Moon Tree in this video. I'm just going to say that right now. We're going to save Moon Tree for the next video. I'll investigate the area. So, we are going to get to that area in this video. Don't worry. But, first, we're going to do some stuff. And it involves Hidden Forbidden Sacrament, but hold on, I'm gonna do the. Oh, okay, there is somebody. It's the, the Green Hanako here. Hi, Green Hanako. Bye, Green Hanako. <laughs> Angry Galermo noises. Anyway. <laughs> no. That's, that's a really bad in joke, I'm sorry. Okay, where are you? Hidden Forbidden Sacrament. So, if you'll remember, we needed a lot of Adler's keys to unlock the lost weapons. And as you can see, I have actually unlocked one. And there's a reason for this. Basically, you need a total of 100 Adler's keys to unlock all the lost weapons. But even though this is last recode, you still only are allowed to carry 99 Adler's keys at one time. So, I had to pour. Yeah, 30 keys into Sakabo's lost weapon, and then go back and get one more key. So. And 
This is what this video is going to be. It is going to be unlocking everybody's lost weapon, except for Atalie's, because she's not here right now. And then and we'll unlock her lost weapon later. So, the lost weapons uh, that we're going to be unlocking are Coons, Pies, Entrances, and Sakabos. And then we'll do an... Uh, this neighboring discerning vampire, or whatever the hell it's called. That won't take long. There is an Ida at the end of it, but I say I was so overpowered that it doesn't really matter anymore. Let's do it! Hey, Coon, are you okay, dude? Here goes! Alright. So, as you can see, I have the doppelganger weapons and the scythe. And yeah. Was it Heinz? Yeah, Heinz Shadow. Like I said, it has the charm ability, and that just makes these fights ridiculous. God, Pi, you are so loud. The lost weapons are worth it in some aspects. Uh, not necessarily Haseos, but your party members, for sure. Like, yeah, like I'll give you an example of Kuhn's lost weapon once we get out of this battle, because we'll be able to examine the weapon. And okay. Bye-bye. I didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, I wasn't going to uh, keep the, this fight going on for too long. Yeah. Also, an interesting thing about this guy, these guys, you saw me pull off a Beast Awakening, right? These guys are really vulnerable to attacks during Beast Awakening. So if they're getting really annoying with healing, which this guy wasn't able to do because I had charmed him, if they get really annoying with healing, you can just pull out an Awakening and then just destroy them. But yeah, uh, every character that unlocks Lost Weapon gets this little cutscene like Haseo did. Oh, I get it. So that's how you can power up. That's a pretty gnarly looking With weapon. With this Magus Factor, I can help everyone. Silent Jade. Let's go, Haseo. Let's bring back a world where everyone can laugh again. Yeah. So, it's never revealed in GU proper, so I'll just say it now. Uh, Kuhn here was... The player by him, behind him was also the player behind uh, Sig in R1, who helped win the final battle against Korbanek. That broke uh, Korbanek's supreme defense. He was a coma victim. And he was always felt insecure because he wanted to surpass uh, Balmung and Orca. And he's he's doing his best now. Also, I believe he was in Liminality. Well, his player was. But, but yeah, he's he's got a lot of insecurities, sadly. Alright, so here's Pi. I'll explain a little bit more about her, too, in a bit. But, yep. Yeah. Once we defeat uh, this sealed beast, I'll go into the two lost weapons that I have unlocked. And what they do. Also, you remember the um, uh, previous beast was called Propagate Stopper? The first one, that the one that Haseo fought to get Ticking Death, was called uh, Death Eater. Let's do it! I didn't draw attention to it because I didn't want to. Yeah, there's a kind of a good reason for that. Alright, so do what we did before. This one's a little higher level. Oh. Okay. Yeah, notice how we're doing that much more damage to it. <laughs> of course we won. What, was it illogical? Are you going to turn into Shockwave? 
Ooh, Coon learned a new skill. Alright, so... Oh yeah, this was the Avenge Preventer. Just a terrible name. But now we get to learn a little bit more about Pi. So, if you you remember the terminal disks and Jun, uh, uh, I forget his surname, but he has something to do with this. This is Tarvos's factor. I'm such a fool to think that it was here all along. What do you mean? <laughs> no. It can't be. This is... No way. There, there's no way. My older brother... Haseo, let's go! Okay, so... So yeah, Jun Bansioya or whatever is the older brother of the player behind Pi. And he was working along another brilliant scientist in R1 uh, called Yotsuyotaro Amagi. And this was during the days of R1 when Aura fled the world and the world was starting to have a lot of problems. And they were... This was when Project GU was first instated because they wanted to bring Aura back to the world. And to do that, I believe they wanted to find all the phase, the pieces of the phases that hadn't been destroyed by Kite, bring them all together. And Jun, who feared that this would bring about another Kubia incident, decided to sabotage the project. So... Kubia wouldn't be reborn, and by doing this, he took away Tarvos's factor and made a dummy factor. Or no, 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 no. Uh, sorry, uh, he he t did take away Tarvos's factor, but uh, Amagi anticipated this and put a dummy faction into the experiment. And when the experiment happened, it backfired spectacularly, and not only did it destroy eighty or ninety percent of the server data in the CC Corp building and blow a quarter of the building to, to shreds, but it also turned Amagi insane, and he, like... Yeah. And there's even more details about that in dot .hack link, but that was never localized, and I don't think I need to describe any of that game while we're here. But Jun basically gave the data of Tarvos uh, to his uh, younger sister, younger sister, uh, Reiko Saiki, who is the player of Pi here. And that's what you need to know about Pi. So now we need to leave the area. Okay, now let's equip these, uh, uh hold on, let's, uh, let them log, uh, let's let them manifest first. All right, so, Earth Hung. All right, let's look at Silent Jade. So, this is a pretty beastly weapon, wouldn't you agree? Crit rates increased by a quarter, as is art damage. So, Kuhn has the potential to do a lot of damage with this thing. And, yeah, Chain Fairy. So, this is actually going to do more damage, but this is actually better for paralysis if you want to keep that. So yeah, some some lost weapons are better than others. So this has the same crit increase rate that uh, Silent Jade does. But instead of increasing Earth's damage, it incre uh, adds Paralysis Chance. But... Uh, I don't know. 
I still I still think this is better. But anyway, now that they have their lost weapons, let's uh, kick them out of the party for now and invite uh, Sakumo on Endrance. Saku because she has the least amount of affection and Endrance because I need to unlock his weapon. All right, let's go back. All right, I don't think I need to go into greater detail with these two. Like, Kun and Pai have n needed the backstory, but we already know about Elk from R1. And Kaioru, the player behind Elk and Entrance's whole story with Mia and Maha and all that, so I don't think we need to, to go into that. But I will say one thing. So, this is the moment when Endrance realizes that Mia was with him the entire time. Like, as an avatar, Maha was with him the entire time. Let's do it! Got it, Haseo. Yeah. Why, why is Haseo dabbing? <laughs> Like, he was in the Twin Blades pose, and it looked really weird without his weapons. Okay. Alright, let's Tiger Strike this thing. Yeah. I didn't bring too much attention to it, but I did level up to level 86 in the interim, so... So none of these sealed beasts are even a, remotely a challenge for me. Also, notice I'm getting SP back. That's another uh, thing of the doppelgangers weapons that are great. I can do arts all day, every day. Man, this thing is eternally charmed. Uh, where did Sakubo and Endrance go? Where? Okay. Wow. Okay, that was weird. That was really freaking weird. They stopped attacking. I don't know why. But yeah, didn't take too long. That didn't take too long. Ooh. Ooh, I got Shellbreaker, and Saku got uh, a powered-up Earth spell. Neat. Which just leaves Saku, who I've already unlocked the lost weapon for, but just need to beat the Sealed Beast first. Alright, Endrance. I'd say Endrance's lost weapon is probably the best, because it is just broken as hell. So... Sit through this cutscene again. It's kind of a cutscene. You? Yes. Let's go. If you're with me, I. Haseo, let's go. I'll never lose my way again. She is with me. It, it finally took him finding his lost weapon to realize that Maha slash Mia was there the entire time. Alright, so we're not even going to go into Sakubo's fight yet. We're just going to examine this and, like... Look at this. So, add charmed her regular attacks, like the doppelganger broadsword wasn't bad enough, but also increased chance to Rengeki. That's crazy broken. Anyway, since Saku is with us, we can now do this. 
So the uh, the Sakubu monster is the hardest one. Also, if you'll recall, the entrance's sealed beast was called the Tempter Ejector, which isn't as stupid as some of the other ones, but yeah. And I, I believe this one is called Scheme Breacher, which is probably the best name. Let's do it! He won't know what hit him! No, I, I don't think he will, Saku. You're right. Okay, uh... Hold on. Let's switch to the scythe. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, uh, you don't have to depend on the skill trigger. You can actually choose a skill from here, but you can't do that when there's a ring. I don't think you can do that when there's a ring, Geki. Oh, you can. Whatever. But it just doesn't show up as, uh, you know. Uh, whatever. So this is my fault for not uh, adjusting the skill. But I want to. I want to use uh, safe skills to level up. There we go. He's done. Shut up. Oh, okay. Endurance learns a new thing, too. So, I can't actually reveal anything about Sakubu right now because it becomes a plot point later on, but... Let's just say Saku and Bo are more two, coin two sides of the same coin that you than you think. What is this? This warmth? It's not Master Ren. Is it you, Bo? Try to hang on to your socks when you get a load of the new powered up me. <laughs> In go, infinite Hensei! spiral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brett. All right, all right. We almost have everybody's lost weapon. All right, so let's look at Sakubo's new weapon. So, elemental hit rate is is a weird one. It doesn't come into play too much in this game. Uh, spell attack damage definitely does, though. So, there we go. All right. And now we leave. We're done here. Now we go to whatever... There, there Pi is just there waiting for us, I see. Actually, let's just get the freaking items done. Like if I don't do the um uh, area now, I'm never gonna do be able to, to do a moon tree in one go, and that that is actually my goal. Even I mean, even though there is a lot of cutscene nonsense in the moon tree area, I feel like I should at least be able to, to get some, if most, if not all of it done. All right, we don't need so many suits. What the hell? Okay, actually, let's go to the at home. I think there might be an upgrade I might need to do. We saying <laughs> saltaholic. Still haven't done any of the bike missions that I haven't already done yet. Yeah, don't know why my voice peaked there. Jeez, don't know why my voice peaked there. I'm just text testing it. Oh, yeah, those do those monsters do count towards the Rio bucks. Where are you? 
Really? Demon. Okay, yeah, here we are. So, uh, if you want to guess at what Atelier's, uh monster will be called, hazard a guess. It, it, it's not that interesting. So, let's go. Let's knock out the final area of this video. And then next time will be Moon Tree in, in, it, in its entirety, I hope. Uh, there are save points, yes, but also... I'm hoping I don't have to rely on them too much. We'll investigate Ida and take care of them along the way. Sounds good to me. <sighs> okay, fairy orb. All right. So. Hey, look! I have the temporary watch again, and that's because I don't want to deal with these fools. Otherwise, this would take frickin' forever. Yes, I know it's modded in. I don't... I don't care. Nobody wants to see me fight monsters for an hour. Also, I see an Adler's Key over there. I'm not collecting them anymore. Oh, look! Now I have the Devil Chim. <laughs> Just gotta grab me a pair of goggles before I move on. Lol. Alright. Ooh, I just banged the microphone again. But now there will be no awkward cut and WBRB nonsense there. Uh, a friend of mine got me into that analog horror series. I actually like it a lot because... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go into a tangent about it because there are a lot of things in uh, in my youth that really scared me as a kid. Uh, I have a feeling that what I just said was redundant in a lot more ways than one, but still. <laughs> There were station ID bumpers that gave me nightmares. Uh, the YTV Green Skull is one of them. Uh, there were characters that gave me nightmares. Uh, Hexadesm Reboot, even though I really like the character, she is freaky in several different aspects. Uh, even a stuffed panda gave me nightmares. So... It wasn't. It really wasn't hard to scare me when I was like a little shrimp. So, okay, where's the Ida? I think the Ida is over. Yeah, there it is. There's the Ida. confirmed. Be careful, Haseo. Alright, so like I said, we get to fight Ida Helen again. Oh, wow. I, ac I actually I actually failed to slash in time. That usually doesn't happen. So I took a bit of damage. God, prologue laser is so stupid. You only get hit with that if you're if you're me. How? I don't want to have to perform a full slash combo on Pascal Bullet. I think that's why I'm getting hit by that too. I'm like I'm so reluctant 
to actually go through with a full slash combo on that. Okay, that's three times in a row I've been hit by that attack. Yikes. Are we gonna go four for four? Yep, we are. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Fed up with this thing. I took way too much more damage because I was just getting being entirely too reckless. So I just wanted this over with quickly. The Ida signals are gone from this area, and we've got the necessary data seeds. Let's go back. We don't have time to waste. Okay. And my speed talisman has run out. Let's use another. All right. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to head to the end of the area. I'm just going to go back and use the chaos gate here. It it, it doesn't matter. I don't need to finish this area. But yeah. Uh, even when you play shitty like me, those things are still way too easy. These should be all the data seeds we need. For sign hacking, at least. Alright. We'll just wait for Yada's email. Which we're gonna get right now. Alright, so the the area that Pyros found. So, I guess I'll be taking Endrance and Kuhn. Well, they're certainly reliable. Alright. Let's log in. And there they are. I think I should take Kuhn and Endrance. Yeah, so we're way more leveled than they are. But that's going to be all for this video. Tomorrow, we attack Moon Tree. And hopefully not play as shittily as we did during the Ida battle. But hey, just wanted it to be over with. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go and play some Dragon Ball Sparking Zero because the early access finally dropped for me. Sparking!